to Boston. I have to go to my next gate for Zurich. Hey y'all, so I'm currently at the Boston airport right now. I wanted to give you a quick update on what was going on. Um, I wasn't really explaining a lot when I first started filming. I hope you can't hear that screaming child. Um, so basically, I got up this morning and I flew from Greenville, South Carolina to Newark, New Jersey or New York. And I had a short layover there and then I had to fly from Newark to Boston. And then I had to get on a different plane that I'm about to get on now. I'm from Boston. I'm gonna go to Lisbon, Portugal. <laughs> and then from there I go from Portugal to um, Zurich. I'm really, I'm really, really tired. So the reason that we did this was because we used our American Airlines points to book this flight. So we used all of our points. We didn't have to pay anything out of pocket and there were like no flights left in like charlotte or the area that i was in so we had to get me to boston because that was one of the only flights out um, of the east coast that would head to zurich so thankfully i had a like a e-gift certificate for united from like a past experience um and i have used your attention please see we are portugal is beijing the following the passenger so I just realized that you can definitely hear that kid screaming in the background. Are you kidding? Okay, so a different time. So anyway, um, we used my points and I used that United gift certificate thing to book my flight from um, GSP to Boston. So that's how I got here, that's what I'm doing. But the only problem was that we had to book two different flights. And so basically I had to check my bag and I, so once I got to, I'm like out of breath, I don't know why. Once I got to Boston, I had to exit the airport. I had to get my bag and then I had to re-enter through the international terminal. So that was a whole ordeal. I had to find everything. And like typically, typically Taylor does all this kind of stuff. So I'm usually just like trotting along like behind him and it's fine. So, I mean, I'm fine. I got here, no problem. And um, I've got plenty of time to kill. So. That's why I'm updating you, and yeah, so next stop is Lisbon. Where did we just eat at? I think it's called Bao Bao's. Bao Bao's. It's really 
good. It was packed though, so you know it's good. So today we are just kind of walking around, doing our own thing, exploring. We have our bags, so it's kind of hard to get in and out of some places, but we have a train ride at one, and then we're gonna take that all the way to a different town in Switzerland. It's a little bit smaller and not, you know, your typical big tourist city, so we're really excited. Okay, so we have a little bit of time before we have to be back at the train, and Taylor wanted to grab some pizza, and we're at this pizza shop um, in the middle of Zurich, and the line is literally out the door, and he's like barely in there yet, so keep you posted on how it is, but I think it's gonna be good. So we're in Lugano and we just went swimming at Lake Lugano, I think that's what it's called. And it was really fun, it was so beautiful. It was only like four, probably like five US dollars to go and then an extra like five dollars for a chair, but it was so beautiful. And I could have been there all day. Everyone was relaxing and swimming. The water was like turquoise, it was amazing. So if you're ever in this area, you have to go, it's beautiful. We are climbing a mountain to find this restaurant that we really want to go to right now. And I didn't realize we'd have to climb the Swiss Alps to get there. But it's beautiful. Hopefully we find it soon. Then Dauphin is there. I'm still very, very jet lagged, and we're just gonna walk into the city of Lugano. We're gonna walk around some more, explore. We wanna find some cafe to find breakfast, so hopefully, we'll find something soon. Lake Como. 